This video is copyright protected, which is detailed on the last slide. To ensure the best performance of the Brine Pro 2000 Brine Maker, please follow these simple steps for setup and starting the machine. The adjustable salt baffle will need to be adjusted for proper flow. If your salt is very dry and free flowing, you may need to use one of the larger baffles to reduce flow. If your salt is wet or clumpy, you will need to open up the baffles. Having too much flow can create auger jams and hammer mill breaker trips. To obtain the optional baffle slides, please order part number 99982. This kit offers two larger baffles for drier, free-flowing salt and comes as standard equipment with new units. See the relevant section in your owner's manual for more information. Ensure the hopper is free of debris and or moisture before filling. A skid steer type loader is recommended for loading salt into the dry hopper. On initial startup, only fill the hopper one quarter of the way full for baffle calibration. Use clean dry salt without debris when making brine. The brine maker is designed and programmed to mix rock salt, sodium chloride, and water only. Damage to the machine may result from using other ice melting materials. Once all of these steps are accomplished, turn on the supply power to the control box. Verify that the emergency stop switch is pulled out and touch anywhere on the LCD display to change screen. Once the unit is booted up, select language on the home screen. In batch mode, the machine will stop when the rear storage tank is full. Batch mode will only make as much usable brine as the unit is capable of holding, 275 gallons. The discharge pump will only extract about 250 gallons. In automatic mode, the discharge pump will turn on when the rear storage tank is full. The unit will continue to make and discharge brine until the preset limit is reached. Select batch or automatic mode by pressing the mode selection arrow. If batch is selected, Pressing Next will take you to the Batch Mode control screen. Pressing Start will begin brine production. Once the onboard storage tank is full of brine, the machine will shut itself off. The operator must manually discharge the storage tank by pressing the green manual discharge button on the touch screen. Once the storage tank drains and the bottom float switch in the storage tank drops, the discharge pump will shut off. Repeat this process for additional batches. If automatic is selected, you must enter the desired production volume. Pressing next will take you to the auto mode control screen. First, press the preset button to get you to the input screen and then enter the gallons desired. Once the volume has been keyed in, press enter and then press the reset button near the window labeled Auto Run Limit Reached. Finally, press the control button and then start. Brine production will begin and continue until the run limit is reached or the machine runs out of salt. Please note that the run limit counter will need to be reset to resume brine production once the run limit has been reached. Once either mode is started, the water valve indicator will appear and the machine will start to fill with fresh water. Depending upon your fresh water supply, this could take some time, 20 minutes plus. Initial startup requires approximately 200 gallons. Prime the pump while the machine is filling by opening the reservoir cap and adding 64 ounces of water. Replace the cap. Failure to prime the pump can damage the pump seals. Once the appropriate level is reached in the mixing tank, 
the water level will be near the end of the salinity sensor. The brine maker will start to introduce salt to the mixing tank and the fresh water will turn off. At this time the circulation pump will start and you should see obvious circulation in the mixing tank. If circulation is not visible within 10 seconds of the pump coming on, the machine must be stopped and the pump primed again. Failure to correctly prime the pump can quickly damage the pump seals. You will see salinity percent start to increase. It can take 30 minutes or longer to reach 23.3% salinity depending upon salt quality. Be patient and do not interrupt the machine during its startup cycle. Start measuring salinity 15 minutes after salt flow has started through the hammer mill. You will be using an entire hopper of salt to reach this level of salinity and to accumulate 4 to 10 inches of salt buildup in the bottom of the mixing tank. This is normal. To ensure your brine maker is producing the intended salinity, please follow the following steps to calibrate the conductivity sensor with the factor value adjustment. Calibration should be completed on initial setup. Since salt and water quality can have an effect on the measure of salinity, it is recommended to verify calibration of the Brine Pro 2000 when any of these variables change. Once 23.3% salinity is reached, the fresh water will turn back on and the brine will soon start to spill over into the rear storage tank. You will need to use the supplied refractometer to measure the salinity of the brine and calibrate the machine accordingly. Please refer to the refractometer instructions and view the refractometer training module. You will also want to reference the flowchart located in your owner's manual, as this will help you determine the next step in the calibration process. The brine maker uses a sensor which measures the electrical conductivity of the brine. This value is converted to salinity percentage by a user adjustable factor. The window in the conductivity sensor must be completely submerged in brine to provide an accurate salinity reading. Once the conductivity sensor has a reading, the factor value translates the conductivity sensor's electrical reading into salinity percentage shown on the touchscreen. Make sure the refractometer is calibrated to 0% by following the instructions included with the instrument. Then, take a sample of brine from the mixing tank and add 3 to 4 drops on the refractometer lens and close the cover. Point the refractometer to a light source and look through the eyepiece. The salinity value is determined by where the boundary line between the blue and white cross the scale. Compare the reading on the refractometer with the indicated salinity percentage on the brine maker touchscreen. If the refractometer reads a lower salinity than the touchscreen salinity value, you will want to raise the factor value. If the refractometer reads a higher salinity value than the touchscreen salinity value, you will want to lower the factor value. In this case, the refractometer reads a lower salinity than the touchscreen, so we will want to raise the factor value. On the control screen, press the factor button. Press the factor set window to pull up the keyboard. In this situation, the refractometer is indicating a salinity that is lower than the brine maker display. We will need to increase the factor. Increase by 10 and press enter. It is important to increase in increments not greater than 10 to prevent going beyond the target range and creating an oversalting condition. Now press control to go back to the control screen. The screen will display a salinity reading lower than previously due to the factor adjustment. Run the brine maker for an additional 10 minutes and then take another refractometer reading and make your factor adjustment accordingly. 
If the brine measures 24% on the refractometer and the screen displays a difference greater than 0.4%, reduce the factor by 10. Repeat this process until the desired level of accuracy is achieved. Adjustments of less than 10 factor points may be desirable. Your brine maker is now calibrated. Calibration must be completed on initial setup. Salt quality and water supply can have an effect on the measurement of salinity. It is recommended to verify calibration of the brine maker when any of these variables change. Sometimes it is necessary to prime the discharge pump the first time of operation. Lift up on the discharge pump and tip sideways to release air bubbles if the discharge pump runs but the level of liquid in the holding tank does not drop. This concludes this training module. Thank you for watching. The following are registered or unregistered trademarks of Douglas Dynamics LLC, Brine Pro and Snow X.